Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Frontier Pilot Simulator. We uh we've got an upgraded ship. We've got bigger batteries now. So that should help us quite a bit. That's nice. And there's someone called Cable there? Or is oh Car Carly? I don't know. We've got some smuggled alcohol over there we can pick up. And also that guy, but where does he want to go? And where does the passenger want to go? And yes, I know, I'm completely off the... Um... The taxiway. <laughs> Let's go check it out where these guys want us to go. And where the smuggled alcohol wants, needs to go. Look at that, that's another ox over here. With pretty much the same engines as we have, but... We got... Bigger batteries. Cargo Spaceway. I cannot go there, dude. It's, um... Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. Where does the other one want to go? I like that the guy had a Oh. I wanted to say I like the... Did I just... Oh, no. Okay, I didn't kill him. Where does this guy want to go? Cable. What does it say? Uh, let's open the hold. You want to go in? No? Hmm. Let's discuss this route. Good afternoon, I'm interested in getting a taxi ride to Cargo Spaceway. No. What about the other one? I cannot get to the other one. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to pick that guy up and then not bring him to Cargo Spaceway because <laughs> I won't be able to get up there. Let's get this smuggled alcohol and see where they want us to go with it. At least we got some nice weather it seems right at the moment. It's quite a big box actually. How heavy is this? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Shoot, I didn't see, uh, I was that close, actually. Let's do it. Fine. I'm forgetting I'm quite a large ship at the moment. Oh, get up, be careful about my bottom engines there. There. It's four tons. That's quite a lot. Let's pick this up and get out of here before we damage our ship more because this is really not st very stable here. Cargo's in the hold? Great! You better hurry though, my client does not have much patience. Alright, so where do you want me to go? Oh. Hurry where? There? Geological scanner? Um... Where do I need to go? Oh, it's in Russian, I think. I'm not sure. Oh. Yes, where do I need to go with this? <laughs> it doesn't actually tell me. That's the problem. He told us that when he was offering the mission, but now we don't know. Oh, there's the dest. No, there's the geological scanner destination. Well, let me unload it, see if he tells me anything. I don't think he will. Darn it. There is no area around here. You know what? I'll have to go... I'll have to go check out the previous video. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, it's MNT Corp. Yeah, that's a bit of a... That's a bit of a problem. They need to... Wait a second. Look! Ugh. 
It is the destination. Okay, so it does tell you where to go. It's just that the uh, the other thing was in the way, the geological scanner. Well, darn it. Okay, let's do this. Reduce thrust a little bit. Let's see where, uh, yeah, there we go. What did he say? Not sure what he said. Guys, please. Wait, are they lovers? Because they both called each other sweetie. I couldn't tell if it was sarcastic or not. I couldn't quite understand what they were talking about. It was too quiet. Box of alcohol. So this is technically illegal, I guess, because it's smuggled. Doesn't have a description. Ski background stable. Dangerous radiation levels will be encountered below three kilometers. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to change the ski radi radiation level at all. It's very, very odd. Hmm. I'm a bit confused with that. But look at that. The new batteries now give us so much more range. Despite the fact that we have a bit more drag, because of those little boxes underneath the base of the wings there. But this is excellent. Look, we're, uh, we're flying for quite a while now, including that little hop off and uh, stop again, when I had to look at where we actually needed to go. And we're still at 6,000. And what, we had 5,000 maximum before, so this is brilliant. Look at those things, man. They're like jellyfish. That's what I couldn't remember last time. So how far away are we? 86 kilometers. Alright. There is no way I could also pick up the scanner and bring it there. And uh, we'll have to figure out where to get that other passenger. Because it seems to be a story mission. I love this. I always really enjoyed any games that were a bit like, or that gave me a Firefly-esque feeling, and this definitely does. It's not quite Wild West, it's a little bit more, you know, high-tech and I suppose a bit more prosperous in a way, but, um, oh, come on game. But, it, you know, it, it's the frontier, and the music is a little Firefly-esque. It's just a feeling that we we're a frontier pilot delivering all this stuff, fighting for scraps in a way. Although we're not really, I mean, we're doing quite well. I like it. And the other game that I'm really excited about that's coming out soon uh, is... Not Neo Scavenger, but it's from the same developer. I did a preview of the... Well, preview of the announcement trailer, which I never do, and but I was so excited I just had to do it. Uh, and it's called Astronauts. Not Astronauts, but Astronauts. Oh! Geyser. You do not want to go through that. Definitely not. That would be a bad idea. There we go. Mm, game does not like that one bit. Yeah, but that's going to be very interesting. It's not quite so uh, graphically advanced as this game. But it is an RPG and you'll have your own spaceship trying to make ends meet. You'll have a crew. They'll have various, you know, social interactions, problems, depression, this, that, blah, blah, blah. They'll also be fighting. I I'm super excited about that. And I love the fact that in this game, they made you actually travel to areas. As in, you know, with the Scarab, it's, f it's fun. You just hop on and you're at the other base at your destination within a minute. 
But over here, you actually have to travel a little bit. It's fairly far away. And uh, it's not just a boring, oh, it just, you know, let's fly over there. The ski radiation prevents you from going too high up and avoiding everything. You've got wind and geysers and volcanoes and then, of course, mountains to uh, worry about. It's just, I don't know, it's just very enjoyable to, m enjoyable to me. It brings me the same sort of satisfaction in a way as the American and European truck simulator games. Which are also sort of niche. Uh, and, you know, some people might consider them boring, but I love this stuff. There we go, we're only now we're at 50%. And we still have enough to, I don't know... That, um... It's not very accurate, that thing at the top. They're telling us the expected range. Well, maybe it is, actually. Yeah. So, 100-ish kilometers, something like that, we can still travel. So, plenty. kilometers to go and we'll get rid of this illegal alcohol look at our ship not really sure how to zoom in here can I oh yeah I can I can use a mouse but only to zoom in this far I like the ox it's a nice looking craft it's got giant engines oh aggressive environment I wasn't looking where I was going. Oh, we actually damaged our batteries quite a bit. What was that? Oh, good. We went through a geyser. There you go. Ooh, that was not nice. Fortunately, the repairs don't seem to be that expensive. Sorry, Betsy. Sorry about that. I'll get you fixed up. That's actually quite dangerous, that what happened there. 67% on the battery, that's not very good. If, if it had damaged the batteries anymore, we could have started losing charge very rapidly. And at that point, you pretty much just have time to land and call for repairs. And that's it. Our batteries, I think, are smoking a little bit. Which is slightly alarming. Uh, oh well. <laughs> Alright, we can start slowing down a little bit. Because we're still pretty darn fast. In fact, I'm going to completely shut off thrust for now. Look at that, we can go on. Oh, are you a complete moron, or did you decide to screw me over? I hope the first option, for your own sake. Oh, are we too late? I think we might be too late. There was no timer anywhere. Darn it. Well, that's kind of... Yeah, it's gone. Ah, uh, well. Look at that. That was perfect. Wow, look at this mine. Oh, that's cool. The open mine. Very choppy. Uh, I believe what happens now is this is dead weight. The box of alcohol, it's completely useless. I don't think we can actually sell it. So, yeah. That sucks. I don't like the fact how some of these missions have such really short time limits. Oh, there's ore there, which of course we cannot pick up. Well, darn it. Sorry about that, buddy. Yeah, it's gone. So let's see, can we sell it? 500 credits. Oh well. Yeah. 
That's so much charge. We also need to uh, repair. So let me see. What did they want? Uh, okay, we have to bring this stuff, which is all too heavy. And we cannot actually carry it. So I suppose... What we'll do now is we'll pick something up here that somebody wants. Uh, products. Four tons. Yttrium water. 62,000 for 13,000. It's not too bad. This is all too heavy. Aslan and power plant. 37,000. So this is a lot better actually. 62,000. Yeah. Let's do that. And let's pick him up. And these guys want to go to Orient, Research, and Volcano. Oh, excellent! Because that is going to Aslan as well, so we should get her. Oops. Set most profitable there. So we need to pick up Clementine Backridge. Uh, but we also need to repair, that's my concern right now. Where would she be? I don't know. So let's get this water. Four tons, that's fine. Okay. No. 65% battery, I don't like that. We could just call a drone to repair here. It's no biggie. Or we can risk it and go all the way over there. that passenger for extra money. Don't really know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Four tons. Gotta remember that. And I also gotta remember that this thing has so much power that they do take a while to uh, spin up and spin down these engines. So it's not an instant response. There we go. Uh, Orient Research. No, we want the other one. There we go. Perfect. Good afternoon. A friend of mine advised me to check out Volcano. I have to return here after that. Does that work for you? All right. Where is she? Oh, there she is. She's already boarding. Perfect. Boarding? Yeah. We can leave now. I can't wait to see Volcano. Man, that sound. There's Aslan. And then we'll do the, uh, the scatters. Oh yeah, we also have that missing pilot. We should help our friends in need. Well, fellow pilots. Wow, this, uh, those bad, that battery condition is going down. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. Come on, game. Operate. 64. If that goes anywhere close, 50%, I think I'm gonna land and just get some repair drones, because, uh, yeah. Slow down a little bit. A little less thrust. There, that's pretty good. 200 kilometers range. I like it. Actually, that's 191 kilometers away, so let's have about a hundred thrust. That should have that should be just enough to reach it in one go. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Are we gonna get there in one piece or not? I I do not want to waste I definitely don't want to lose the uh, tritium water and the passenger because, you know, it's quite a bit of money if we go to Aslan with this. It's going to be tight though. It's definitely going to be tight. I mean, we've got about 213 range. This is 180 away, but remember, of course we coast 
the last about five kilometers but we also need quite a bit of power to land in VTOL mode. Now, when they're going, I hope they're going to implement some sort of ILS later on and longer runways, please, so we can actually land in uh, aircraft mode. Or maybe that's not actually the intended purpose of these VTOLs. Maybe landing on actual strips is not intended to the VTOL landing is intended and the airstrips are only used for um, takeoff in aircraft mode so you use less power so I don't know let's just check make sure that everything is okay we have a very slight tailwind I like that it's quite helpful makes us uh, use a little less what is that over there oh it's a base Oh, it's that research base of some sort, I think. Not really sure. What is it? It's power plant. Oh, it's big crater and power plant. Okay. Look at that. Oh, man, that's so cool. That's awesome. Ski level will be reduced soon. I suppose, it, I suppose they mean, like, sky level, but I don't know. This game can be exceedingly pretty. It just doesn't run quite as uh, well as it should. But again, this is an alpha. Look at that planet. It has rings. Nice. Increasing dangerous radiation levels. Yeah, I think my game might be bugged. Because that radiation level always seems to be at about 1500. It doesn't seem to be going up and down, as far as I can see. Where's the passenger? Oh, there she is. At the front. Oh! Do not want. No, no, no. I didn't want to do that. I want to turn off this. There we go. Uh, this is a bit of a problem now. 143 kilometers away, and our range is 143 ish. It's not gonna cut it. Um, we'll see how it goes. I want to reduce thrust even further. This is w probably the longest strip we can take. See, if I had topped up the batteries after picking up the passenger, I think we would have been fine. But unfortunately, you know what? I'm not going to fly above this thing. I'm going to fly past it. Like so. Just don't want to waste my range there just ever so slight corrections look at that, those swarms there it's quite creepy I don't know if they're going to do anything with those later on maybe they can attack you hmm. game does not like changing to the AR mode Okay, we've got some bigger mountain ranges here. We'll, we will have to climb a bit. I don't want to go completely around there. We still have some pretty good speed. I mean, 200 meters a second. I will... Oh, what? I have a headache. Can we fly lower? Oh, jeez, that's... It's really close now. And my batteries are at 59%. Not very comfortable now. <laughs> Not a very comfortable level. Okay. Make sure that we don't hit any of this. 
Yep, we're at 50%. I know. Stop losing altitude. Come on. This is going to be pushing it. This is really going to be pushing it. Let's uh, further reduce the thrust. Are we actually accelerating? No. Okay, this is much more comfortable at 86 thrust. These batteries are a bit of a concern though, like I said before many times now. <laughs> well, they are. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue this next time when we hopefully arrived at Aslan with my uh, greediness not getting the best of me. Well, it, it already has because we're going there without stopping somewhere to recharge. So, yeah, if I uh, get destroyed, that's going to be my own fault because I didn't want to spend time recharging. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.